7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 17. Oh! The great thing about that is you know exactly how much force has just hit Tom on the foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Tom's not here at the moment. He's probably off doing some science because everybody knows he's part of Lattice and Lattice are very sciencey. So at Wide Boys, we're going to steal some of the science because we want to be sciencey as well and we want to science the jams. How many times can you say science in the intro? <laughs> so we have two contraptions to science with and we're going to see what are the strongest jams and what are the weakest jams. So which ones are going to be the best, which ones are going to be the worst and we're going to see how many kilos we can pull with science. So here we have a hand jam science box and here we have a sciencey thing for measuring science. <laughs> So when we attach the science meter to the hand jam block, we're going to see how many kilos we can pull through each of the common jams. So we're going to start with tips fingers, fingers, ring locks, paddle thin hand, hand, cupped hand, fist. I'm going to see which is the worst, which is the best with science. To make it ultra scientific, Tom's going to pull an amount of kilos. I'm going to pull an amount of kilos. We're going to add the two scores together, then divide by two. Science. Doing that, Pete? Because the floor is squidgy, we don't want to give incorrect readings because we're going to have to pull the pull scientific meter thing from our foot from the floor. So what we're going to do is going to put hard base down and that will make it super scientific. Okay, so how this is going to work, this is going to be our foot loop and we're going to put our foot underneath it or through it like this. This is super static scientifically static and then we have a force plate going through here and then we attach our adjustable jam box onto here and this is our kilogram meter reader put our jam in and pull up and see how much we can pull and then it gives you a reading I can see you <laughs> right this is the tips. Tips is for the definition of this scientific experiment. Beyond the uh, first knuckle, not right into the kind of deep finger locking territory, which is beyond the second knuckle. And we're gonna go for two fingers because, well, that's science. I'm just gonna place my foot through the scientific stirrup hoop, known otherwise in scientific terms as Calvin's stirrup. I am now going to apply some what's termed as force. Go for it. Yeah. yeah. 8, 11, 14, 16, 18, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19 kgs. <laughs> that was just, it was just slipping out. Yeah. I, I was trying to hook to get like extra skin on yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Good effort. Nice one. 19 kgs on the tips. That's not so good. Is it not? No, I thought it'd be like 30. Oh really? But no. imagine if you're on like a steep overhang and you're like hanging off one like tips. But if you're hanging off two, I bet like you could hold your body weight. But imagine if you go down to one, it is going to be like 20 kilos, isn't it? That yeah, maybe. Yeah. Tips. Oh God, this feels desperate. I feel like I'm basically just crumping. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Oh! 25. 25. Oh, that was horrible. I felt like I was bending my fingers off. I want to go again. <laughs> go again. <laughs> Got my sights. Right across there. Awful. That's the price of science. That's the price you pay. 10, 15, 20, 3, 4, 5, 25, 25, 25, 25. <laughs> 25 kgs in the house. We both got 25. Uh, so do you know what I did a bit different on that one? Yeah. Which isn't very good for my finger. What? I twisted way more to like basically monoing it. Uh, did you? So I basically, I twisted so much that that one stopped having that much contact and I was yeah. just pulling on a mono. Technique. Scientific. <laughs> Scientific. <laughs> <laughs> so, well that's easy. You both got 25. So that probably means it's reliable. It's reliable. Repeatable, yeah. reliable and valid. Mm -hmm. And delicious. <laughs> Should we go for fingers now? Yeah. This is the sort of thing which people could get into. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Bragging rights on how much can you jam. Yeah, how much can you pull through a jam. So now we've gone from tips and we've gone to finger jamming. So that is past the first knuckle, past the second knuckle. And this should be pretty good. If you were on steep terrain, 
With two hands, you know, you should be like doing pull-ups off it. One hand, you might be able to hang it if it's completely bomber. What are we hoping for, kilo-wise? At I'm, least half body weight. Yeah, I'm hoping for like. more than half body weight. Yeah. And we're going for thumb inside, like that? Because that's usually what you do, do on, yeah. usually what you do on finger cracks. Whatever you no. would do on a crack yeah. of that size. Foot through Calvin. Okay, 20, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30 31, 32, 33, 34, 33, 35, 36. Oh, 36, ah! Hanked out 36 right at the end. Ow! That was harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be able to pull more than that. Ow! Whoa! Oh, that's a finger biter, isn't it? <laughs> this is no impact on the science. We're not changing anything. You should never change anything halfway through the experiment. And as you can see, we're not. Kind of. Did you get away with this at lattice? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, I never said that. I never said that. <laughs> yes. Come on, 26, 27, 27. Ah, oh, it's just actually too flipping painful. Yeah. It's really painful. Oh, that's just way worse. <laughs> it's really bad, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't like that at all. Well, that's all right. That's um, a 36 and a 27. Add those together. 36, 63, is that right? 53, 63. 64. 63. 36 plus 27. Yeah. 6 and 7 is 13. Is it? <laughs> 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 yeah, it is. It, it actually is. Yeah, it's 13. So it's 63. Divide that by 2. 22. <laughs> that's that's uh, 60, 31.5. So that's science. 31.5. It is when you're involved. Ring locks. So this is above fingers, uh, but you can't quite yet paddle. You can't quite get that knuckle in. So we have to use the thumb and fingers. Oh, can you paddle? <laughs> this, this here is case and example yeah. of why the paddle hand is gonna win out in the long run. Ring lock, absolutely perfect ring lock size. Yeah. Paddle hand. I can't fit my knuckles in. Oh, well, you're screwed. <laughs> I'll be interested to see what force I can get out of a paddle versus a ring lock. Yeah, on this on size. The, on the same size, yeah. yeah. And that is science. Yeah. That's proper science. Should I go left or right? No, science says go right. Does it? Yeah. I'm gonna go left. Oh no, we should go right, shouldn't we? Because then it is... Yeah, you've kept the same. You kept the same, yeah. Yeah. We'll go right, because that's science. I'm hoping for 15 kilos. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, ah! 20. 20 kilos. Yeah, that's actually really impressive. Oh, I ripped a bit of a jobber in that. When I first put my fingers in, I didn't think I was gonna get past 15. So I'm happy with that. Tom's gonna actually try a ring lock versus a paddle on the same width, because that is real science. And then we will be able to answer the age old question of is a ring lock better or worse than a paddle hand? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 14, 15, 17. Oh! <laughs> I could see that happening. I was just about to say something. That was 17. That was 17. I'm putting some clogs on. Yeah. <laughs> 17. Oh, you're going to be able to smash that way more than 17. You would think so. Yeah. 7, 8, 14, 8, 20, 20, 35, 36. 36. 36. Oh, way better. It's a lot more in a paddle, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a lot more in a paddle. Yeah, if that was just a tiny bit deeper, I wasn't really getting like the little finger knuckle in. Okay. I was just in on those two. Yeah. Uh, I think it'd be like another... Probably like five to 10 kilos more than that. Yeah. Just starting to get into proper paddle hand territory because it was very, very shallow. Mm. Just goes to show a paddle is better than a ring lock. That's our first bit of proper science. Yeah, this is real. It's happening right here in front of you. We are now onto the paddle hand. So this is like a tight red or a wide green. Uh, hand goes in, but you can't get like your thumb and you know, your, like your proper hand jam stuff. Can't get up to the wrist. So this is like the full power paddle. Uh, this is the stuff that me and Pete have been banging on about for at least a year. And we're now gonna prove with science that this is one of the greatest jams of all time. This is the half crimp of jamming. 15, 18, 21, 29, 30, 4, 36, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 38. 38. 36 on the thin one, 38 
on the perfect. Yeah, not like there's not massive more. difference. It just shows how good a paddle hand is. It does. Even when it's <laughs> mm, it's good. You still yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what that's like with the uh, with the, glo got, actually. With the glove, yeah. 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. <laughs> 49. Blue neck, that was well good. 49. <laughs> <laughs> that's really impressive. Try it with the glove on. So this is the test to find out whether the wide boys glove actually helps yeah. climbing. Yeah. It's going to be very disappointing if this comes out of the yeah, lower yeah. score, isn't it? <laughs> but we have to trust the science. Yeah. 30, 42, 44, 46, 47, 48, 49, 49, 49! 49. <laughs> Smashed it. That was an extra 10 kilo, 11 kilos. When you take away a bit of the discomfort on your skin, I could uh, paddle, 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 paddle harder. Um, yeah. So I think on the first one, it was just painful, mm. so I wasn't really, really going for it. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready? Okay, yeah. 52, 54. Oh, 54. 54, yeah. 54. So yeah. it was a little bit more, five, six kilos more. No, five yeah. kilos more. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Wide boys gloves. Improve your jamming. Scientifically. Scientifically improve. I think I feel like pain is definitely an issue within jamming. You just can't sort of concentrate on trying hard. No, when it gets painful. Mm. Next is uh, sweet hand jams of perfect size. We pulled a van or two on this, so theoretically, we should be pretty comfortably generating our body weight at least on it, I would have thought. I mean, it doesn't get any better than a hand jam. If anyone else can generate the values that we are off a hand jam on any other jams, they should just be crushing 515 cracks in all those sizes. Oh, if anybody can generate like a hand jamming pull yeah. with other jams. Yeah, if you could do 70 kg off a ring lock, <sighs> go and climb some 515 ring lock cracks. Yeah, down on the white rim. Yeah, yeah. in a roof. Yeah. So 40, 50, 60, 66, 69, 72, 76, 76, 76. Oh, 76. skin slippage then. That was a lot. I could definitely do more than that. Yeah. Uh, with just a glove or yeah i was just getting skin slippage i could feel it like starting to roll on the skin okay we ready yeah 50 60 70 80 80 89 89 come on come on 89 <laughs> 89, 89, oh, no, no. I can do more. <laughs> I'm going again, I can do more than that. 50, 60, 70, 80, 96, 99, 101, 101, 101, 101 kilos. Oh, yeah, that was go. big, nice one. That's a lot through one. It just shows you can put a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, it's a jug. Yeah, I mean, I don't know yeah. if I could pull the same as a jug. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, good, good, science. Okay. okay. Eighty, eighty-five, eighty-six, <coughs> eighty, ninety-six, ninety-eight, one hundred two, one hundred two, one hundred two, one hundred two. Freaking hell, that's a well good. Oh, I feel like my back was going to give out. Oh, that's painful. On the uh, like rolling the skin. Yeah, yeah, that's well good. You're braver than me on your skin. I'm just not prepared to do <laughs> that much like that. Seventy, eighty, eighty, ninety, one hundred five, one hundred seven, one hundred eight. One oh nine. One oh nine. Oh god. I think that's now like more scores than that's just gonna come down to technique, lifting technique. Yeah, and strength in other yeah, other like parts, how much you can pull. Yeah. Not like not your not To be honest, I just didn't feel like it was my hand jam. No. Apart from I the didn't. first one, I was too scared to take the pain and the sort of slippage. Yeah. But the one with the glove on, I just couldn't pull enough. Yeah, couldn't pull enough, yeah. We're gonna do cupped hands now, and because cupped hands is quite brutal on the top of the knuckles here. We're just gonna go with the gloves on because we've got some projects that we wanna do and we don't wanna rip skin. 7, 58, 9, 60, 62, 63. Ah, 63. Good effort. 20, 35, 42, 47, 48, 48, 48, 49, 50, 52, 53, <laughs> 53. 53, nice one. Yeah, did you find on that one that you felt like you were like twisting your Hand across the crack. Uh, You're like, not massively, like trying to but my, it. my hand is a bit bigger than yours, so. Yeah. So yeah, it shows you can get some force. I mean, like pretty yeah. good force. Yeah. It's still way be better than paddle hand. Okay, now we're going for fish jams. So I've gone for reasonably tight, 
and then thumb on the outside. So fish jumping like that. It's about that size. About, it's a science piece. Uh, it is exactly scientifically this size. 45, 52, 55, 59, 60, hit for 60. Oh, yeah, it hit 60 that seconds. Was slippage. Ooh, slippage on the skin. Well impressive. I think the glove will be a bit uh, better. It was slipping though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was slipping. Yeah, let, let me try with the glove well, on. You've got 60. No wonder you're so good at fist cracks. That's science. Six. Yeah. Just showing it. <laughs> like all this time, I thought you had good technique, but you're just a complete force beast. Unbelievable. I think you get more than you think. 60 kilos worth of force. I need to work on my fisting. 57, 30, 66, 9, 71, 62, 72, 74, 76. <sighs> 76. 76. So over body weight with, hell. with the glove. Yeah, yeah. That's impressive. I'm happy to get over body weight, actually, on, on a fist. Yeah. Especially, because um, usually with fist jams, you, like, you always aim for those constrictions, so they can feel quite good. But in completely parallel cracks, there's not much expansion in your fist, so they can feel pretty slippy. So I'm quite keen, or oh, pleased to get over body weight, I think. Give it a, give it a, okay. Give it a, give it a. Give it a. This, is, this is classic Randall yeah. break something. Okay, we're good to turn that up. <laughs> I never break anything. <laughs> I take a practical approach to science. 20, 30, 39, 40, 43, 44, 45, 45, 45. Just wimping out. Yeah. <laughs> it slides, doesn't it, on the yeah. skin? I just want a glove on. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Climbing with gloves too much. Makes you soft. Makes you soft. Yeah. 20, 30, 40, 40, 50, 6, 8, 60, 69, 71. 71. 71. <laughs> that was some uh, pure it was, fisting. Oh, uh, it's just a pain thing. <laughs> yeah. Freaking hell, like, it wasn't slipping. No. I just yeah. didn't want to take that much pain. Yeah. Body weight. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Pain for science. Yeah, pain for science. Yeah, I, I would say scientifically that a fist jam is not a million miles off a hand jam, actually. I think no. you're right, I yeah. was wrong. And science <laughs> proved that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here is a list of all the kilos averaged out that we pulled. If you are ever in a situation where you need one of these jams, pick a higher one in the list, because that's science. And you've always got to rely on science and for trad. Exactly. <laughs>